When I'm breathing Because of fucking BJ Simmons The cure to everything Yeah Yeah It's time to shit on Motherfucking Purdue It's Big Ten play Yeah Oh, looking for four straight wins Four straight wins down to little down to down down What's up, fellas? JPS delivers here. Way game in Purdue, facing the boiler makers. I have a couple friends went to Ohio State, so uh, apparently they call it per fucking don't, not per do. So uh, yeah, interesting fact of the day. Learn something new every single day. B.J. Simmons, his campaign continues here on the road. Five and two Iowa team. There they are, pumped up, looking for four straight wins. It's been uh, it's been an interesting year. I feel like this defense has done a, a decent amount to keep them in game, especially the special teams and whatnot. B.J. Simmons though has shown quite a bit of highlights and uh, a decent amount of uh, touchdown passes. You know, for a freshman right here through seven games, averaging two touchdown passes a game. I'll fucking take that for a freshman right here. But um, for sure, uh, you know, leading into all this shit. Whew, I mean, this schedule really isn't that bad. Like, leading on, uh, I mean, Michigan State next week and whatnot. Um, I mean, this, this Iowa team's looking good. I mean, we're, start, we're starting to get a stride on offense and shit. Um, except, I mean, our halfback, though. I mean, star halfback, but at the same time, I I don't know. But uh, start off this game, it couldn't, uh, couldn't have been any shittier right here. No holding penalty, no clipping. I was looking for a flag, but nope. Terrible, terrible fucking job. I'm over here boasting about the defense and the special teams keeping us in this game. Well, how the fuck are we staying in this game if they're giving up fucking opening uh, kickoff touchdown uh, touchdown returns? So that is what that is. Should have just taken this right here. I mean, uh, that's the funny thing. Past the first down line, but I fumbled it. And then here we go. Just a rock and hit. Hits the living fuck out of that man. For somehow he's still in the game. I'm down with it. His composure is amazing. And then here we go. Purdue, just the momentum is on their side for sure. Up 7-0. Then, nice little swat. Our cornerback got roasted last game against Illinois' star wide receiver, Mr. Cornerback number 19 right there. Uh, but actually this game, I'd have to say he has quite a bit of deflections. He, he does pretty well. But right here... Just that tandem. I felt like our front seven in this game actually did finally come up to play in this one. But fourth down, going to be our ball right here. And here we go. B.J. Simmons running the ball. Going to be a fumble. Going to be, I mean, two lucky breaks right there to start off this game. And then beautiful broken tackle. But, hey, when they have that good a pursuit, you're not really going to go anywhere with it. And then an all-star fucking middle linebacker. Not really. But the dude gets a, just it just falls right into his lap. I mean, B.J. Simmons, the, you gotta clean, we got to clean up. we got to clean up the dirty, unclean play right here. He's, I mean, what is that, 17 interceptions for the season now. It's pretty insane. And the next play, the first play of the drive heading into it. I mean, the momentum's there. This team is rocking really fucking hard right now. Be, beating the living shit out of this Iowa Hawkeyes team. And, but, fortunately enough, get a little bit of extra momentum right there. No kick. Made the backup quarterback placeholder. Got the feeling on that one. He had a fever, and the only cure was more cowbell as he decided to try to pull that one out. But it was too late. The girlfriend was pregnant. And then look at that fucking move, baby. This <sighs> BJ Simmons, man. He's already a fucking phenom. This dude, it doesn't matter. How many times have we have we done this with this BJ Simmons team in Iowa to where we're going down by a touchdown, going by, down by... Two touchdowns and then whoop, beautiful move. And for some fucking reason, the offensive line only gets up by one on the mo uh, motivation scale. But here we go. Pass out. It's going to be incomplete drop pass Purdue. Starting to, I thought that was going to be an interception. I thought that was well-timed, but nope. They have to fucking, yeah, tease the living tits out of me. This fucking game, this Heisman difficulty and shit. But here we go. Another nice move. That's going to be like a 20-yard catch. On that one for Purdue, but here it is. The defense starts showing up. This is Ben Don't Break defense, even though the weird thing is with this team. Well, not the weird thing, but here we go. 
Defense fucked up earlier, but we got ourselves a fucking pick six, baby, and they ain't blocking the extra point. They ain't fucking blocking the extra point. This team ain't doing shit on us. I can tell you what, we started this game off 13 to zero. Remember that, folks. Remember that, fellas. This was 13 to zip against Purdue, now up by one point, still about four or five minutes left in the first half. Nice little defensive uh, tackle right there by the defensive tackle. But this star middle linebacker has been impressive too. Third and five now, four minutes left, and then trying to look for his man, and then it's going to be picked off. And it was funny, I was just surprised because I wasn't even controlling this dude. Look at on the interception, I didn't know what the fuck to do. I just jump up, he jumps up, catches it, and... Dude, there's a lot of fucking times that I had to jam the X button not to get a fucking... Look at Yeah, he's driving right there like, what the fuck? This like, surprised me more than anything. I Big problem with this game. Decision making. When I go back to the tape, I mean, this is a beautiful thing. Hey, hey, y'all. It's not just YouTube videos. These are like... These are, uh, these are film sessions right here, okay? On that play action rollout, I'm going to have to look for the square coming up. The seam plays. But right there... Send the half back in motion. He's running a flag technically right there. And then beautiful play. I don't know why he's flexing for the strength. Uh, he should be flexing his legs because he floated in midair to catch that ball. Beautifully done. Nice positioning. And B.J. Simmons and the boys make it now 21 unanswered points on the road. Purdue with the ball trying to get it out. And another play by cornerback number 19. He was a stud in this game. He was definitely a stud. This team was trying their best to just, you know, try to get a little small little scamper plays like this. And then fortunately on this play on third and ten, it was going to be a first down. However, though, holding by the center on Purdue per fucking don't on this one. And here it is, third and long, and it's going to be fourth and even longer after the sack. But unfortunately, their front seven was just showed up today against the likes of our just a running game besides B.J. Simmons. But here we go, B.J. Simmons now on the outside. What's he going to be able to do? And he's going to toss it to his fullback. And there it is, the position. you got to jump in front of these defenders while the ball's in the air. you got to be proactive. We're not reactive. If you're reactive, you're chasing down a motherfucker after he has a pick six. And then there you go. Worst thing that could have happened. A sack right there. Second and 22 now with just limited amount of time. And then I thought this was going to be a fucking star catch on this one, but it was not. And here we go. B.J. Simmons setting it up. Long pass. The fucking arm. The arm strength. You can't teach arm strength. You can make it a little bit stronger. But at this point, he has the strength. Anyways, he's fucking Josh Allen as a freshman right here. Just tossing balls, raw talent. But forcing enough, he's a freshman. He's not some dude you're looking at from fucking Wyoming as a senior. This dude's going to get better. And, well, let's hope his decision-making gets better. That's an interception on the opening drive of the second half, which makes things a little uh, murky right here. I mean, 28 unanswered points by this Iowa team to come back and then this interception right here it kind of sucks though like when you see that uh and maybe that's just a result you know you get punished for uh not doing uh your, you know because there's a difference between decision making and then making your decision at the right time and we did not make the right decision at the right time and here we go cornerback number 29 interception after interception after interception in this game i believe that's what three interceptions now by uh well both uh, this uh, Purdue guy and B.J. Simmons, I believe, if I am correct. If not, well, I guess uh, with that uh, mistake in my uh, totals, knowing the outcome of this game, how this game played, I think you should be expecting a couple more interceptions in this game. And unfortunately, another huge hit on halfback 21. However, he's going to be okay. He's going to come back later on in the game, even though he was basically virtually nothing. And then Harry, horrible decision-making right here. I thought the tight end was going to jump up the field, but that's what happens when your tight end is not the one that it has the uh, receiver direct on that one. And, uh, well, I, drew, I threw it directly right into the fucking hands of the middle linebacker. And here we go. I thought I was going to swat that one. Next time I'm just going to strafe and fucking jump up for interception. But a nice little pass right there. I mean, one-on-one -on -one coverage down the field. You can't expect the safeties to necessarily do too, too much. It is what it is, though. I mean, we're up by 15 points. What's Purdue going to try to do at this point? This is a time for a fucking goal line stun, man. I can tell you that. And what a fuck... I mean, that's... 
Wasn't even a highlight sack, yet he hit the living tits out of that dude. Holy shit. And here we go, incomplete pass. It was actually a drop pass by the star. And then the scaler fucking goes out, but we could pretty much see right before that 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 was going to be a sack. It looked like no one touched this dude at all. And right when Purdue gets their first points again, number 28's getting down the field. And the funny thing is, dude, look at this. Motherfucker pops out of nowhere. Motherfucking Houdini couldn't even get us on this kickoff return. And not only that, it makes sense. Just broke the previous record held by one of our returners. And then a nice sack left in 99 with a huge game. I mean, he's not an impact player like our D tackle 53 or 54, whatever the number is. However, though, left in 99 is only like one or two overall less than him. They're both 92 overall. And then here we go. Purdue's defense showing up right here, trying to maintain any bit of normalcy when it comes to having a decent Big Ten defense, but it's not going to do as well now. It's wonderful, wonderful positioning, and then a nice first down opportunity starting, well, first first part of the drive, starting off inside the 25, and here comes B.J. Simmons, and then gets hit as he throws it. I mean, how many times in this game? Was it two or three times we saw an interception get traded right back from another interception on the other side of the field. I don't I don't know because this quarterback actually started the game pretty well. And uh, speaking of doing well, is this play right here. Nice catch on that play. And not only that, it's going to be a roughing the passer. You can tick 15 more on that one. Still up by 19 points. It's a comfortable lead. You're playing per fucking don't on the road doesn't matter at this point the momentum's basically there as if we were the home team <clears throat> subtly excuse me but here we go nicely done right there by purdue and there it is second and 11 nice little run by the halfback but at this point he just wasn't utilized enough had a lot to do with the game script folks and then a fumble right there left in 99 that is two sacks on the day and he recovers a fumble in that one. There you go. He's fucking pumped up. The sidelines pumped up. I was well on their way to their fourth win in a row. Should have hit the guy with the seam, or not the seam, but the drag route again. And uh, it's just a shame. But B.J. Simmons getting down the field. But then B.J. Simmons, the stadium, well, <laughs> they're not at home, so the stadium does not go quiet. Even though uh, people should give this man more fucking respect. But fortunately enough, that injury happens when uh, the game's pretty much over with, even though a sick turnaround catch by wide receiver number one going to take it to the house, even though uh, it's not too swell for this guy. It's not too max swell for this pretty fucking don't team. And here we go. Just to uh, make matters a little bit worse, right when you think they were playing really well, I thought it would be really cool if that dude, cornerback number 39, I believe, got the ball and returned it for two. That would have been sick. That would have been a really good fuck you to Big Ten team. I mean, ever since that loss to Wisconsin, this Iowa team, the defense has been playing um, really stellar. I mean, that game in Penn State, Penn State has lost one or two games since then, so it's not like a huge you know, ordeal that should have been picked off. I know it's been a great game by cornerback number 19, but still should have been picked off. And here we go, fourth down, fourth and six, to see if this is going to be the point of the game to end it, and yes, it is, turnover. It's going to be a win for Iowa, like I said. That Wisconsin game, it's a shame how it ended. Um, I just felt like there's a couple plays. I mean, what was it, 14-3 to or something like that? 21-13? Uh, to 13. I, I don't know. We'll have to look back on it at some point. But at just at this point, winning four straight in a row. Next game is going to be against Michigan State. I believe it's going to be at home. We're going to be back at home with the boys. I mean, you saw the overall ranking, number 38 in the country for this Iowa Hawkeyes team. I'm looking forward to it, see what we can do, because eventually we're going to have to play. <sighs> Who the fuck was it that mm, is ranked still on the schedule? That's the thing that's really weird to me. No Ohio State on the schedule. Um, maybe we play Michigan. I don't, I don't know. I don't think we play Michigan. It's weird, but uh, fortunately enough, hey, beat Penn State, but there you see two interceptions on the day and stuff like that. Good, good defensive performance, except for, <clears throat> you know, three catches, I think, that went over like 20 yards on the day. Um, you're not going to be able to control too, too much. And there you go, wide receiver number 80, easily the number one uh, yardage wide receiver in all the Big Ten. 
even after this game, he had like 800 yards uh, on the season or so in just seven games. But we're looking forward to I mean, four straight on our way to Michigan State next time. As always, fellas, take it easy and see y'all next video.